Hello, one of our subscribers asked us to talk about the fallopian tubes. We are going to talk about the fallopian tubes. Lero tugenda kogera ku nseke ezabachala. So without further ado, we shall begin by defining what the fallopian tubes are. The fallopian tubes specifically are those parts of the female reproductive system which are specific for the transport of the egg. The fallopian tubes in Luganda they are known as enseke. Enseke zino zezitambuza eji eri omuchara oba zezitambuza na amazi oba enkwaso ezomusajja. So lero tugenda kuogera ku fallopian tubes oba enseke ezabachara eranga tetumaze budde bunji tugenda kugamba nti enseke zino zili divided into uh, different parts. When we take a look at the fallopian tubes it is divided into different parts. The first part is known as the corneal part of the fallopian tube. The next is known as the infud. <music> part of the fallopian tube and then there's that part also known as the ampulla and lastly there's that part known as the fimbria which is kind of like it appears as if they are fingers of a person so that part is specific and it is actually the part which receives an egg which is released on the 14th day so what only the enseke ezomuchala oja kula bantu zirina parts nyingi walo part je baita the corneal part walo je baita ifudibulum eberanga tube awagazi and then walo part eringa a corner je baita ampulla and then walo we neringa ngalo eringa appearing ange ngalo je baita fimbria so part eno je baita fimbria ye receiving a g kuluna ko recommendenya we banga ogenze che ba obogenze mu che baita ovulation so Without further ado, we are proceeding with our lesson for today. We are answering a question asked by one of our subscribers. This is Gerard Massa, the health educator, and it's the name of the channel. If it's your first time on this channel, remember to subscribe so that you do watch videos. You watch videos about fertility and reproductive health. Kobanga gwe mrundu go ogusose kushana yafe, subscribing oberinga olaba videos zetu kolaboli kasera, ngato gira kumsonga eze chichala, endwade ezaba chala. We are talking about the fallopian tubes. Kati eji eriomu chala weriba angaliba de released kuruna koreko minenya. Oja kola bantiti genda mluseke. Ate weriba di tuse mluseke. Oluseke rulimo obu ntungo buviri, obu sweeping, obu obu tambuza li neji. Eriba de fertilized, neriba angaliso vola oku genda, nerie kuata kuchisenge chomu chala. Oba cheba ita endometrium. Weriba liye kuteko, liba li genda kuru. Paka ngalifuse omwana. The fallopian tubes specifically transport a fertilized egg which has been released on the 14th day during ovulation and this egg is transported and it is swept along by means of hair-like structures known as cilia. So if a woman has issues with the fallopian tubes, then movement of a fertilized egg or movement of the male sperm is going to be difficult. Omuchala wabanga alina obuzibu munseke. Ojakola banti eji lijakuba tetisobola kutambula bulungi. In other words, lisobola nokubanga libera blocked ne libanga lisigala mu luseke. Eji eriba de fertilized kuruna ko ko minenya we lisigala mu ne libanga liba de blocked. Ojakola banti ate omwana oyo akulira mu nseke oba mu luzungu tubatuchiita ectopic pregnancy. Eji erikulide mu luseke ebisete bisinga liba zibunyo oba lisobola kuteka mu state ya emergency. Ectopic pregnancies are a result of a fertilized egg remaining or getting blocked in the fallopian tubes and then it grows into a pregnancy known as an ectopic pregnancy. So this is always an emergency. Tugenda maso ne musomo gwafe ogwa lero tulikogera ku fallopian tubes oba enseke. Mbuze ibuzo byona byona byobodi na wasawo nja kuba mbidamu obulunji ate nja kuba nkubulira. No vango yagala kubanga oyogera muko nange mu private osobola kubanga ogenda ku email yange www.geradmasa the health educator dot com over WhatsApp yange plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven 
0718 7678 We are talking about the fallopian tubes. Now, the fallopian tubes tend to be affected by many conditions. The first condition that normally affects the fallopian tubes is what we call inflammation. Inflammation muluganda chibachite gezanti. Ensekezo ziso bulo kubanga ziru mbiwa ebiruwa de ebienja ulo. Inflammation chibachite gezo mwiri guguli correspondinga ku injury ebe tu semulu seke. So, omuchara ageziza kwa kubanga afuno luguto. Ate nabanga alemedua kubanga afuno luguto. Oja kulaba anti ebesede bisinga ya ndibanga either alinamu amazi amachafu. Obanida osobola kubanga olinamu ebi nyama nyama. Muluzungu tubita adhesions. Ate nechidala osobola kubanga olinamu chabaita scar tissue. So enseke zuwe ziba za ziba. Ebesede bisingo oja kulaba anti okufuno luguto chibachizivu. No obanga olufunye chances zizo kusigala muluseke ziba nyingi. Nga wala wano mchifanani. So we are saying that the fallopian tubes can be affected by three main conditions. The first condition is what we call, uh, the, the first condition is what we call uh, scar tissue. And then the next is hydrosalpingitis, where there is fluid collection in the fallopian tubes. And then, of course, also uh, the fallopian tubes can be affected by various, various uh, infectious diseases. So uh, we are proceeding with our uh, topic for today. We are talking about the fallopian tubes. Let me know if you have any questions. I will answer all your questions down below in the comments. And then also you can have you can book to have a private consultation with me on my website www.gerardmasa.healtheducator.com. We are proceeding with today's lesson and we are saying that the fallopian tubes are very, very key. They, point we need to take from this lesson is that many times, even if you have one fallopian tube, you can go on and get pregnant. No bango bade olina olse kolumu, chinjagalo kutegeza kwa mkwa nogu ange, chidinti. Osogula okugenda mumaso, no bango funo luguto. So, okubange nsekezo za ziba, oba okumanyo okumany, tiante sekezo za ziba, oba zirino obuzibu. The signs of a blocked fallopian tube or the signs of disease of the productive system or fallopian tube specifically, sorry. So, Ostukira okumanyanti olino buzivu monsekezo, oja kuba ulida ulumi. Nenko ulumi buno bubera kusaidi e mu. Buso bulo kuba kusaidi e a left, oba side e a right. Ate ulumi buno bubwa manyi nyo nyo nyo, oba anga gubafumise akambe, ate ulumi buno tebu sobolo, tebu tebu kende, tebu kende la. So oja kula bantu ulumi buno bubwa unji nyo nyo, mo specifically no oba dene ne bao, mchitu mwumu kwe gata, oja kula bantu, wabeda ulumi unji nyo na ate, butela kuba kusaidi e mu, tebutela kuba kusaidi zona. Sometimes omuchala abanga abadde ino buzibu mu maseke zonna ndeni asobola kufuna obulumi buno mu side zombi nayenga ebisere bisinga the biggest percentage the pain which is due to fallopian tube disease is normally unilateral meaning it is always either on the left side or on the right side so obanga oli muchala oliyeyo ogeza ko kufuna olubuto biganye bakkebedde enseke zaziba nenga wandi yagadde okubanga ofuna ku advise singa kawo osobola connectinga ku whatsapp yange ne tubanga togero ku waya muko ne kiralo osobola kubanga kulagirira edwaro ya february dino obanga osobola kujja ne togera ebisinga kawo Gerard Massa the health educator is the name of the channel we create awareness about fertility reproductive health and ultrasound no obanga okoze scan oba ka tv nengo yagala okubanga ofuna second opinion omusawa berenga kuvunulira ebisinga kwao otegere bulunji report yo yalaze echi beranga obimpereza ku whatsapp njja kubamba bivunula results zo nanja kubanzi kuvunulira era mberenga kutegeza solutions eri empira yona yona jo bozude sanyi sanyo mukwano gwange okuuliza i welcome you on our channel on this channel Remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos we release every day. Subscribe so that you continue watching our videos. Nyiga epese ya red, ya subscribe. Obelengo sobulo kumanga. Ofuna videos za fezu ze tuteka yo bulikanaku. Togira kusongeze chichara. Osobulo tiyo kufuna olubuto amangu. Naturali nga toko sezi za treatment seze beye nyo. Atene chidala. Osobulo tiyo okumanya omuviri gonova. Owado planinga kubanga ofuna olubuto. Eno ye chano yo. Beda ngo koma wencha. Nja kuba nteka yo video yendala. Gerard Massa, the health educator. Why are you not seeing your periods after a miscarriage? You have had a miscarriage and you are not seeing your periods. 
Why are you not able to see your periods after a miscarriage? I welcome you, my friend, for today's lesson. One of our viewers asked a question and she said, why is she not seeing her periods after her miscarriage? It's coming to two months. She is not able to see her periods. We are answering this question. Watch up to the end because there are lots of tips for you. To answer this question. So without further ado, we shall first of all talk about what a miscarriage is. When we are talking about a miscarriage, specifically this is a pregnancy loss at least before the pregnancy makes 20 weeks. So if you are pregnant and before the pregnancy goes to 20 weeks, there happens to be a pregnancy loss or you lose the pregnancy actually we call this a miscarriage so why are you not seeing your periods even after you've, ha you've had the miscarriage even after losing the pregnancy why are you not able to see your periods first of all i welcome you on our channel gerard massa the health educator is the name of the channel on this channel we do talk about fertility we talk about pregnancy tips we do give you advice on how you can get pregnant faster on how you can become fertile and get pregnant faster and then also we do give all pregnancy tips anything related to women health i welcome you and if it's your first time on our channel remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos we release every day so without further ado i'll first of all talk about a miscarriage a miscarriage is a serious condition when it happens the first thing is the couple needs to go through a process of healing both emotionally psychologically and then also physically so if a miscarriage has happened it's always good to realize that there could have been a problem there could have been a cause of this miscarriage to happen you do not need to put the guilt on any of on either of the partner you should not take up the guilt because when you put up when you become guilty and then you begin putting it on yourself if you did not induce it yourself then it may actually it may actually put you in depression and it may affect you psychologically emotionally and all areas so allow yourself time to heal allow yourself